Hey what's up everybody, in this guide I'll show you everything you need to quickly rank up Kami from gold to platinum. If you're struggling to get out of gold then this video is for you. And if you haven't checked out my last Kami video about ranking from silver to gold then definitely check that out because we'll be building on the concepts in that video. With that said, let's get started. Combos. So there are a few new combos to add to your game if you want to rank up quickly to platinum. Make sure you practice these in training mode until you can do them effortlessly. Combo number one is your corner swap combo. This is a great combo that allows Kami to switch sides and puts your opponent in the corner. This is the combo you'll want to aim for when you're in the corner and don't have enough meter to kill your opponent. Being able to do a side switch combo is one of Kami's best strengths in Street Fighter VI so you definitely want to learn this. Combo number two. This is going to be your best punish combo that leads into a great knockdown advantage. If you have super meter, you can do a level 1 super after the last standing hard punch, or if you have 3 bars, you can go for a kill with the more difficult combo. Combo number 3. This is the combo you want to use when you block a cornered opponent's reversal. It dishes out a ton of damage, so definitely practice this. If you have 4 or more drive gauge and the opponent has less than 40% health, you can go for a burnout version of this combo. Burning yourself won't matter because this is going to kill the opponent. Combo number 4, your Drive Impact Corner Combo. This combo has good damage and good knockdown advantage, so you can set up your Strike Throw Shimmy Pressure afterwards. And the last combo, combo number 5, your Crouching Medium Kick Drive Rush Hit Confirm. This is a big one and probably the most difficult but most important combo here. This combo is great because you can use the Time Freeze during Drive Rush to do a Hit Confirm. If you see the Crouching Medium Kick hit, go for a Crouching Hard Punch, Standing Hard Punch into Hard Kick Spiral Arrow. If your Crouching Medium Kick is blocked, do a Crouching Light Punch to go into a guaranteed Frame Trap or Throw Setup. Kami's General Game Plan at this rank Just like in Silver Ranks, you should try to jump as little as possible. I think it's absolutely possible to get into Platinum Rank easily without jumping at all. You'll really need to focus on your anti-airs with Light Kick and Medium Kick Cannon Spike. Many opponents will start to jump a lot in these ranks, and having your anti-airs consistent will help you out so much. Against fireball characters, focus on using parry to parry their fireballs. When you have a read on their fireball pattern, go for a jump in hard punch or hard punch spin knuckle to go for the punish. In the last video, we learned that you can get a guaranteed strike throw mix up anywhere on the screen by doing a forward dash after medium kick spiral arrow. You can definitely use this setup in gold ranks, but you'll face some opponents who are more likely to guard or late throw tech after knockdown. To beat these kinds of players, we'll need to learn a new setup. This time, instead of dashing after medium kick spiral arrow, just walk forward. This will allow you to add a shimmy to your offense. If you don't know what a shimmy is, pause the video and check out my video about shimmies here, and come back after you watched it. To get into Platinum Ranks easily, you'll need to start mixing up both your offense and your defense. For your offense, mix up between a single jab into throw, or go for a frame trap. On defense, you'll be able to shut down most players by learning how to do a late throw tech on wake up. Most opponents at this level don't know how to shimmy, which is one of the only ways to directly beat delay throw tech. If you don't know what a delay throw tech is or how to do it, you can check out my video about them here. Finally, start adding drive impact into your play near the corner. You can beat a ton of players by doing an immediate drive impact after any combo that ends in medium kick spiral arrow in the corner. This setup is so strong that I think you can probably get out of gold using just this. You'll also need to learn how to react to your opponent's drive impact, especially when you're near the corner. Just remember to always have an eye out for an opponent doing a random drive impact once your back is near the corner. If you stay aware of your position, your ability to react will skyrocket. Now that we've gone over Kami's general game plan, let's watch a replay against a high gold rank opponent to see how we can apply the concepts in this video to a real match. Kami starts the round with a neutral jump. This is to try to get the Jury player to make a move first and it works. Jury walks forward but Kami beats this with a crouching medium kick into a hit confirmed drive rush combo. Kami then goes for the medium kick spiral arrow DI setup but drops the combo. After this, Kami keeps applying basic knockdown pressure but switches to guard once Jury's health gets low. A lot of players in this rank will do a reversal once their health gets low, especially in the corner. 
It's an obvious time to reversal, so Kami blocks and gets the round. Round 2 starts with a light kick spiral arrow to check a drive rush, but the drive rush never comes. Jury jumps, but this is stopped immediately with an anti-air. Remember, at this spacing, you should always be looking for jumps. Post knockdown, Kemi goes for a throw, but Jury jumps out. Remember, if your opponent jumps out of your pressure, don't let them run away. Keep the pressure on and don't be afraid to use drive gauge to do it. Jury then tries to get out of the corner with a jump. This is really common at low ranks. Be sure to anti-air them for this. Kami gets greedy and tries to do a cheeky DI anti-air, but messes up the timing and gets put into burnout. That's okay though, because Kami's at full health and Jury does a really bad combo afterwards. Jury then goes for a drive rush from downtown. Don't let opponents just run at you for free. Kami stops the drive rush with a quick cannon spike. Kami's in burnout now, so she just focuses on winning neutral and using quick attacks as much as possible. Jury then starts playing scared because of Kami's crouching medium kick and goes for a poorly spaced jump in which Kami anti-airs on reaction for the win. So there are three key takeaways from this match. Number 1. Pressure your opponent on knockdown. Most players in gold and low platinum ranks have really poor defense. Always walk forward after medium kick spiral arrow and keep pressuring. Don't worry about eating a reversal, especially if it's at the beginning of the round. If you have a gut feeling that your opponent will do a reversal, especially at low health, just block and punish. Number 2. Anti-airs. There's not much to be said here. Just remember to look for anti-air attempts once your opponent gets into their ideal jump in range. Number 3. Drive rush into pressure. The jury player never really got a chance to play because Kami just kept extending combos with drive rush into follow up pressure. At this level, you don't want to interact with your opponent. You want to shut them down before they get a chance to do anything. Let's look at one more round against a Ryu player. Ryu starts with a Tatsumaki special. Players at this level will throw out random moves a lot, so these things tend to happen. Ryu starts jumping a lot. Kami tries to perfect parry the jump, but misses the timing. Kami goes for a jump to beat a fireball, but Ryu doesn't throw the fireball, but does a poorly spaced Danny medium kick and eats the jump in from Kami anyways. Kami then gets the knockdown and just goes for strike throw mix up loops. At this point, Ryu has had enough of it and goes for a level 3 super. Kami has so much more health than Ryu that getting hit by this doesn't matter at all. But let's see what Kami does on wake up. Kami just guards and then reacts to Ryu's drive rush with a parry, followed up by quick lights into a combo. The Ryu player just showed that they don't like to block on wake up, so Kami blocks and beats Ryu's reversal for the win. The big takeaway from this round is simple. Identifying patterns, like wake up reversals from your opponent, is one of the quickest ways to beat them. That's all for this video guide. I hope you walk away with the tools you need to get out of gold and into platinum ranks. Please let me know in the comments if you were able to rank up after watching this video. And if you enjoyed this, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button. Doing so helps me know that you enjoy this kind of content and allows me to make more videos like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care.